as homeschoolers, we sometimes can get stuck in a rut, a curriculum rut, or even more so, we have a curriculum that we just feel like is totally failing and it's just a total bomb. And we might wanna consider switching curriculum, specifically math. If you're feeling this way, please don't feel alone. I bet every single homeschooler at some point or another has felt this way. I know I personally have. So I'm gonna give some tips or some just thoughts that it might be time to switch your math program. Some of these I've experienced myself and then some I have just heard over the years from different other homeschool parents. I would say number one by far of any homeschool curriculum challenge is math, particularly math in the upper levels and totally understandable. So maybe your child is getting older and you just are not feeling comfortable in your element teaching math for them anymore. Or maybe you have multiple kids and you just had a baby and you are like, I cannot teach six kids different math. I have to outsource a little bit. Or maybe there is just way too much prep. Your current curriculum, there is just way too much prep going on for you and you're stretched way too thin. And this is something that you are wanting to, again, outsource. And so for whatever reason it may be, and they're all valid, uh, but whatever the reason may be, you're looking for something that is online, something that is more independent, something that your child is capable of doing the learning on their own. And you just feel more confident knowing that the teaching isn't coming from you, that is kind of off your plate, and you can designate that to a like a true curriculum company for them to do the teaching. Maybe for you, it's the grading. Your curriculum gives you, you know, you already have, they're already doing the teaching for you, but when you check the answers, they just give you the answer key, but you don't know how how to get to there. They don't show the work, they don't show the steps. And you're like, I don't know how they went from here to there and got this answer correctly. And so you wanna see the steps or you just wanna outsource the grading as well. Maybe, um, and I may or may not have experience with this one, maybe your child just doesn't learn very well from you. So I had one of my children say, mom, I really love you, but no offense, I just cannot learn when you are teaching this to me this specific way. And I'm like, well, I'm teaching exactly what the book says. And uh, she was like, I know, but I just don't learn it this way. Like, it's really hard for me to understand it this way. So um, I did not take offense to it. I wanted to at first, but it's not, you know, it's not sometimes just if someone else presents the information, for some reason it clicks a little bit better. So sometimes we as parents just don't, and it doesn't necessarily mean every single subject, but sometimes certain subjects just don't click with how we're explaining it to, with the, how the child comprehends and understands. Maybe the math that you are doing is leaving your child or you in tears and it's just constant frustration. I think this is the biggest one, honestly. Um, it, it just very frustrated day after day and uh, we had experienced frustration with very, very long lessons before in the past and um, and we hung in there and hung in there and hung in there and finally I was just like, you know what, this is not worth it. My daughter went from loving math to hating it and I'm not willing to you know, have her nosedive in math and absolutely coming with the conclusion that she just hates math just so that I can stick with a certain curriculum. Sometimes it is the tears and the frustration over the specific um, math curriculum or again, the length of the math. Now I know, and I have done this before where it's like, well, just tell the child to only do half the math problems or just the evens or just the odds. And that works for some people, but for other children that doesn't, it just induces more anxiety. And if you have a child like that, then you know, and you understand how it is. I'm not gonna keep harboring on that topic. And then sometimes math can just be too expensive. Um, I know that a lot of us are on budgets and a lot of us are homeschooling multiple children or and you know it really really adds up even if you are budgeting and you know getting curriculum discounted or used or whatever sometimes it still really really adds up as much as we'd love to not have a homeschool budget right wouldn't that be amazing to just not worry and just choose whatever we want whenever we want 
Um, most of us, I would dare say, are not in that position. And so we really do have to consider that when we are choosing our curriculum. And then lastly, sometimes you just are like, again, stuck in a rut. I said that at the beginning, it's just, it's not the best of it, but you just feel like something is off. You're just not loving it. And you, you or your child just want to try something new just to see if something might be a little bit of a better fit. It doesn't necessarily have to be like everything is going, you know, burning in flames before you change. Um, sometimes it's just nice to kind of switch up to see just to get a new experience and see if something is a better fit. So like I said, if any of those are for you, then you might want to consider teaching textbooks. So teaching textbooks offers all of these things. We have just finished our second year with it and have loved it. And I'll speak more on that at the end of the video if you want to hear our experience, but just for a couple things that they offer, everything is online. All of the teaching is online. All of the lessons are online. The um, questions are online. Now the child has the option to write the answers on a regular pencil and paper notebook or they can work out the problems on what's called the scratch pad. And it's basically um, the option of writing it on the tablet or whatever device that you have. It is 100% independent and it does the grading for you. So I know that there's a lot of online curriculum out there where you know they do the teaching and they do the the questions online but the parent is still responsible to grade well they do all of the grading right then and there they get to see if they got the answer right or wrong it gives them a second chance if they got it wrong the first time they get a second chance to do it they're always able to go back and see how they got the answer so i like that that it shows okay it's not just Here's the answer, but they, again, are able to look back and work the problem through if they get stuck on it. And it also shows um, where the lesson, the question shows where the lesson was taught. So you first learned this concept back in lesson 65. So if it's something that they're a little bit rusty with, they can refer back to lesson 65 and kind of do a refresher. And so we've utilized that several times. But in case you're like, well, I don't, I still want to make sure and keep an eye on things. They have a parent portal. And so you get the grades emailed to you every single day so you can see how your child has done and what they got wrong, right, what they got wrong. And then you can go over that with them. So you definitely still have access to that. You're still able to see everything that they're doing. Now, if they have a lesson online and they're still not getting it, they're still not understanding the concept, this is really, really awesome. We have not gotten to that point yet because my girls are were only in fourth and sixth grade last year, but you never know in the next coming years, you never know. Um, they have a free tutoring uh, that you can just call. You can call the number and it's live one-on-one -on -one tutoring for free. And it's not like limited, oh, it's five minutes or 10 minutes. They will work with you until you understand the concept. And again, it's unlimited. So it's not like you only get one call per year or anything like that. So take advantage of that. If that is something that you and your, you know, neither you or your child is great at math and you would just like a little bit of extra help, that is absolutely invaluable to have. They are very homeschool friendly. They are very affordable. So what you get the course, you get a full year, 12 month access to the course. You have one full year. If you need to pause the course, you can pause the course for seven days or up to three months. Let's say you're going on vacation or you're moving or something happens and you just want to, you know, you need to take a little bit of a break. You're able to pause the course, which we have actually done a couple times and taken advantage of that. And that will not count against the 12 months. So if you have to pause the course for one month, that one month just literally like it says it pauses and then if you have two months left it will pick up after that two months so it does offer a little bit of wiggle room and flexibility in that aspect too and then if you have multiple children they start to offer discounts and like i said it's very homeschool friendly so that they they want to keep homeschoolers in mind so that's why they keep their prices very very affordable and then the lessons are very they're shorter but they're more effective so they get right to the point now they do have it is a spiral approach so it's going to be um reviewing concepts over and over so you're going to learn a something in the lesson and you'll have several practice problems and then you'll have a couple um problems from today's lesson but then the rest of the problems will be from previous lessons and then tomorrow's lesson you'll learn you'll have a couple 
practice problems from today's lesson and so on and so forth. So that way they're still reviewing uh, the concepts and they're not just forgetting about them or only doing them a couple days and then moving on. Now I will say my daughter who was in sixth grade had finished level six and then she went to level seven this year and she is definitely taking more time in level seven. It's taking her longer obviously because the problems are more complicated and more advanced and there's just more steps to them. So it's taking her a little bit longer which is not a bad thing but it's not um, it's not overwhelming. There's not 75 problems that she's doing in a day. They keep it very manageable and very um, very appropriate. Our experience was really great. We, again, my two girls, I asked them at the beginning, um, at the end of this year, what is a curriculum that you want to make sure that you keep for next year? Because I was curriculum planning and they were, they both told me, and I asked them separately, like, so they didn't get to feed off of each other or anything. And they both individually said, teaching textbooks, that was their number one thing that they wanted to continue. And then they listed a couple other of their curriculum that they wanted to do as well. But that was definitely one that they, they wanna continue with. Now, I tested my daughter who, again, when she finished level six in the middle of this year and was going to go into level seven, I just wanted to see, so I tested her for the Saxon. I did the Saxon, uh, which is another homeschool or another curriculum, not necessarily homeschool. And she uh, tested into their level seven, six. Um, and so I, I mean, I went ahead and started her with level seven anyway, but I was just like curious to see where it landed. And so she, yeah, so she tested right on track. And then my other daughter had finished third grade and she had done BJU press. Um, and she made all A's in BJU press math that year and she tested into right into teaching textbooks level four. So definitely do the assessment, make sure you're testing your child in to see which less, which uh, level that they will test into. Do not just go by, well, they were in this curriculum level four or whatever, so they should just automatically go to level five or do the assessment, 100% recommend do their assessment. They also have 15 free lessons. So, and it's not 15 days, it's 15 lessons. So however, however long it takes you to do that. So that way you're not paying for the whole course. Um, and then you find out, oh man, this is not a good fit for us. I love that, that they, how many times have we done that, that we bought something and just wasn't a, didn't work out. And so it was a waste of money. And so this one offers you, like I said, 15 lessons. And then let's say you want to go ahead and purchase the course. Those 15 lessons that you have completed already count towards the course. So it's not like they have to start over again, or they don't count. They were just sample lessons or anything like that. It already, your child will be 15 lessons in. My girls never give me a hard time about math. There's no tears. There is no, I mean, it's been glorious. It's been so great this past year. Totally recommend. Um, I have a link below so you can check out teaching textbooks. If you thought this video was helpful, you can give it a thumbs up and I will see you again soon. Bye guys.